Yes, everyone. Welcome back. So I hope you can, you know, you are there. I can see many of you here already. Welcome. So those of you who are still here with us, uh, with us on the YouTube, go to the www.menti.com and use the code 63388385. With us, we have 37 students. I want more number. Come on, everyone. Quickly join. Yes, yes, yes. All of you, please join. Good evening. Yes, we all are here. So let's, I'll just wait for one more minute and then of course, we'll quickly revise the concept. Yeah, we have to bit. There was a rush in the end of bit, but yeah, don't worry, we'll be revising now. Along with the questions, right? Come on, everyone. Very quickly, I want to see more. The quiz will start in two minutes part. We are waiting for all our friends. And once they are here with us, we will start the quiz. So last time in our class, I think we have 100, right? So let's just hope if this number goes till 100. So we have 83 of you in the class, right? So of course, more number of you should join here. Yes, come on. I can see 64. The number is increasing. That's really very good. Yes. Before we start this class, I hope that you have actually you know, subscribe to the channel because there are a lot of amazing notifi notifications that we put out and amazing content. So I hope that you have subscribed to our channel, which is your channel, right? And make sure to like the button, hit the like button for this video and for, of course, for the previous video also. Uh, Hima, you have to go to the www.menti.com and then you have to add the code. The code is 633-83845. Yes, the nutrient medium, of course, we can use the agar. There are different types of nutrient medium that can be prepared depending upon the nutrient need of a plant. So it can be easily prepared in the lab. So here we have one of the example. Yes. Yes, Sudha, we'll be starting in a minute. Very good, Papya, you have, I am sure you wrote um, agar, right? Very good. So the calyx is the formation that we have right from the tissues will have the small formation of the plant like structure. Not completely the plant but call this bunch of tissues as the calyx. Yes? Awesome. Yes. Okay, we have 80 in our class. Yes, so we are starting. Okay, Sri Ram is asking us to wait for just one more minute. Uh, Priyadarshini, the example of flavoring is jasmine. Right? Awesome. Okay. Sri Ram, quickly join us. Thank you, Shakti. Yes. So we have 85 now. I think it's time for us to, you know. Yes. Okay, everyone. So we are starting with the quiz. I hope that you're here, right? And here we go with the first question. So all the best to each one of you. And let's go. Here we have the first question, right? I'll be very away from the system. I'm not so tech friendly. Oh, I love the emojis that we have. Awesome. So all the best and here you go. The first question of today's class. So what we have over here, question number one. Sporangia releases gametes, spores, birds and fragments. Such an easy question, right? Yes, come on, come on. You have 30 seconds to vote. A very important thing that I forgot to tell you is that the faster you vote, the more points you will get. So if there are two kids who are voting for the correct answer, more marks will be going to that kid who are actually voting fast. So be really very quick. Easy peasy? Yes, it's a really very easy question, right? So, Sporangia releases what? Absolutely, 90 of you are saying it releases these spores and you're absolutely correct. We have four saying the gametes, three saying the birds and four saying the fragments. So we know the correct answer is the spores. So let's look at the solution. So we know that sporangia releases the spores, right? We usually see the spore formation in the fungi. Over here we have an example of the rhizopus that we have already talked about, right? In the sporangia there's a sac-like structure, right? Inside that what we have, we have the spores. And once the sporangia will bust open, what will happen? Under the favorable condition, the spores will, when they drop on a moist surface, what will happen? They'll be able to grow, right? They'll be able to develop. Yes? 
Are we clear? I can see a lot of likes, a lot of thumbs up on the slide. Very good. So the first question is done. Remember the example name. The example of the spore formation is rise of pus. It's really very important. Very quick. That's really amazing. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. Everyone, focus here. Very good. Cake. I love cakes. Here we have. I am sure all of us, all of us love cakes, right? That's very good. You. Oh, that's very good, Shivansh. Thank you for telling it to everyone. Okay, seems like there's some error. Let's go back. Coming back over here again, and of course, this time I'm sure we'll we should have the question. Yes, we have. Here we go. Question number two, everyone. Question number two on your screen. And now, artificial method of vegetative propagation does not include artificial method. We're talking about it, and in the options we have layering, grafting, tissue culture, and spore formation. Interesting, right? Yes. So come on, come on. Very quickly, I want all of you to answer artificial method of vegetative propagation. So we know that vegetative propagation is a mode of reproduction. It's a asexual re mode of reproduction because, of course, in it, there will be the use of the vegetative parts, right? So over here, it does not include the spore formation. Layering, grafting, tissue culture, of course, have all of that. We're talking about the artificial methods. Of course, we have all of these. And spore formation is not the artificial method of vegetative propagation. Very good. So 94%, 94 of you actually have voted for the correct answer. Congratulations. Okay, if it's not visible, you can increase the brightness of your screen. Yes, Suhani will be seeing the leaderboard after some time, but not now. Moving ahead to the next. But before that, we have the explanation, right? So we know that in vegetative propagation, we have two different categories. In the artificial vegetative propagation, we have crafting, we have layering, we have cutting, and we have the tissue culture. Why we call it as artificial? Because there will be the involvement of the humans, right? It cannot happen by itself. We will be going there, we'll be doing something, and of course, then the magic will happen. Yes? Awesome. Moving to the question number three, and here we go. Yes. Here we have the question number three. I hope that all of you are ready. Let's go back and let's come back. So, uh, we need, we have, these are the same slides we have from the text, uh, the session that we have, right? So, you can easily go back to the session and then you can have those slides with you. Okay, question number three, everyone. Bryophyllum reproduced by Yes, bryophyllum reproduced by, very easy question. In options, we have vegetative propagation, fragmentation, fission, and regeneration. So if we talk about the bryophyllum, we know that what we're talking about in options, we have vegetative pro propagation. We have fragmentation, fission, and regeneration. We all know what these are, right? We've just discussed it. So I'm sure you have the clear understanding about the answer. And time's up. So bryophyllum reproduced by vegetative propagation. And hundred of you, da -da -da, claps, drum rolls, right? Da -da -da -da. Something, some sound. Hundred of you have actually voted for the correct answer. One of you, I don't know why, by mistake, I'm sure, have voted for the fission. It's okay. Five and five have voted for the fragmentation and regeneration. Of course, we know that it's not the correct answer. I'm sure it's a misclick. So never mind. The correct answer is option number. There's no option. The correct answer is vegetative propagation. So if we go back to the Yes, if you go back to the solution, right, we know that vegetative propagation is happening through the leaves, right, which is not the reproductive parts over here. And over here, we have the example of the bryophyllum, beautiful plant, right? Yes? It's okay, Sri Ram, but I'm sure that you know the correct answer. Right? Question number three is done. We'll have the leaderboard. It has to be a surprise, right? The leaderboard can come anytime. We'll be waiting for that. Moving to the next question, right? We have question number four. Okay, we'll go back. And we'll come back again. And we'll get the question this time. Yes, and here we have question number four on your screen now. 
The question is, grafting is a natural method of vegetative propagation. Is it true or false? Yes? Everyone, is it true or false? Very easy, right? It's a very easy question. We're talking about the grafting. Is a natural method of vegetative propagation. Now, just let's go back and let's recall what grafting is, right? In grafting, what happens? I can see the answers in the chat box. Yes, absolutely correct. Of course, we know that it's a false statement, right? 83 of you have voted for the correct one, that is false. Grafting is an artificial method of vegetative propagation, right? It cannot be natural. We are involved into it. We'll be going to the plant, right? We'll be looking for the two desirable plants. Everyone focus here. We are quickly revising the grafting. So we'll be going out there. We'll be looking at the two different plants, right? And of course, in those plants, we'll be looking for the desirable characteristics that we want. Then we'll be taking these two plants. We'll be putting a small cut, right? Not in both the plants. We'll be taking up one part of one plant, stock and scion, right? And then what we'll do? We'll merge them, right? We'll actually attach them together. And of course, then we'll get the desirable characteristics. So the statement is false. I can see a lot of misclick, right? Vote Aram say. There's no rush, right? There's no rush. So over here we have the answer slide. Very good, Priya. Very good. Now, moving ahead to the next question. Question number five. Moving back and moving forward. Here we have question number five. Here we go. Here we have the question. We have this interesting and amazing question. That is the following image that we have over here, right? Shows grafting. We have to identify the part label as X. Is this a stock, cyan, callus, and tissue? So we have to focus on the which part we are, right? So while discussing about the grafting, we said there are two parts, right? There's the upper part and the lower part. So what is this part is? What is the X over here? Yes, what is the X over here? Yes, absolutely correct. The correct answer is stock. 67 of you have voted for the correct answer. The correct answer is the stalk. So the lower part, right, in the grafting is called as a stalk and the upper part is called as the scion, right? Or scion sometime when, well, you know, we can pronounce it like that also. So very good. Those of you who got the answer incorrect, right, or maybe by the misclick, you know that what is the correct answer. Have a note of that. Very good. Now moving ahead to the next question. Before that, we have a solution, right? See? Over here, we have the upper part and the lower part, right? Very good. That's so nice, Sudha, you are there here with us in this class 10th. Now, everyone, we have something really very interesting, what we have. Okay. Just there, it was there just for a moment, and now we'll have the leaderboard. Yes, ta-da. So after five questions, we have the leaderboard, right? And so the fastest over here, we have Aradhana, right, at the top. Then we have Hari Murli, we have Gayatri, we have B, we have Nikesh. Then we have the Kirtiman, then we have Suraj, we have Charvi, Master of Biology, very good and Arshida. Very good, congratulations. And I'm sure you all got your marks, right? And I'm sure you know your positions. Very good. So the important thing over here is that we still have time, right? If you have just joined in, you can go to www.menti.com, use the code 6338385, right? So go there and join us quickly and we'll be moving ahead. Awesome. Very good, everyone. Yes, they have the same points. But you know, the only difference will be the speed. Over here, we have a very good thing, right? The faster you answer, the more points. Or, you know, that thing will happen. 
Nice. There's a very, very less difference between the marks. Very good. You're giving each other a very tough competition. That's good. <laughs> Moving to the question number six, everyone. Here we go. Swati, you are in class seventh. Welcome. Here we have everyone. Focus on your screen. We have just a bit. We have question number six. Here we have. Oh, still loading. I don't know why this is happening. Okay, moving back. I hope. Yes. Okay. I think we just need to wait. After the leaderboard, I think. <laughs> so I hope that you'll be able to. Okay, can't see anything. Okay, let me just refresh the page. Hopefully, um, let me just try once last time. Should have, right, question number six with us. Okay, not happening. So let me just go back, give me a movement. I'll just minimize and I'll quickly refresh. We'll be back then. These things happen. Cool, I guess we are here. Yes, question number six on your screen. Right, everyone, I hope you can see me. Yes. Moving back. Yes. Gopi, can we go back? Question number six. Hopefully this time we'll have it. Yes. Here we have. Modified stem growing into a new plant is seen in. Again, a very interesting thing. Modifying stem, right? Modified stem. We are talking about it. We'll, where we'll see? We'll see in the sweet potato, potato, carrot and radish. Yeah, you guys can answer over here, but quickly answer on the right mentee. I hope you are answering on the mentee also. Yes. Okay. Here we have. So, 71% of you have voted for the correct answer. Right, 71% of all of you. Yes? So, we are talking about the modified stem, right? So, when we talk about the stem, we talked about the potato. Sweet potato, of course, will be coming in the roots, for example. Right? Carrot and radish? No. Very good. Here we have the explanation part of it. Very good, everyone. It's a misclick. It's okay, Bhavya. Vardhan. Misclick. Awesome. But you know the correct answer. That's really very important. Hi, Fatima. And moving to the next question. We'll be going into the question number seven. Let's go back. I think it's the ritual we have. This slide and that slide. Here we have question number seven. Question number seven on your screen, spore germinated when they come in contact with the moist surface. Is it true or false? Very easy question, right? Very easy question. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you so much. Hi, Seema. Hi, Kalpat. Yes, spore germinates when they come in contact with the moist surface. So what are we talking about? We're talking about the spores, right? We know what our spores are. We have discussed about the spore formation, right? And we have discussed about the moist surface, which plays really very interesting role. Yes, wow. 102 of you out of 105. That's really very good, right? That means that you paid the attention to the class. <laughs> Yay, happy teacher. Right, we all can do a happy dance because we're doing amazing. Right? So 102 of you have voted for the correct answer. So sports will germinate when they come in contact with the moist surface. This is really very important for them to germinate. Very good. So over here we have the solution slide, right? We'll see in the riser first, a very common example. Remember that, a very good example of it. 
Moving ahead to the next question. I hope you don't have to come back. I'm just crossing all my fingers. Seems like, no, we have to, right? We'll go back. So it's like moving back and forward, moving back and forward again. Here we go. So let's just wait and let's see. Yes, question number eight, everyone. Two more questions, actually three more, if we count this. The question is, the method of growing tissues or cells in an artificial medium is called as. Very easy, right? The answer is there in the question itself. You're talking about what? Tissue? So, yeah, you know the answer. The options are tissue culture, budding, layering, and grafting. So, I can see the correct answer already. I want all of you over here to actually answer it, right? No misclick should happen over here. Let's see. Let's just pray for that. Why, Shivansh? Why are you confused? Thank you, Pranav. Thank you so much. Yes, Kalpant. The correct answer is... 97 of you have voted for the correct answer, right? The correct answer is tissue culture. Two for budding, two for layering, and five for grafting. I'm sure this, these are the misclick. I want to think in that way that these are the misclick, right? So, of course, we're talking about the tissue culture. Of course, when we are growing the tissues, we're talking about the tissue culture, right? We know that in the tissue culture, we'll be taking the tissues from the different parts of a plant like leaves, stem, and roots, right? Then, of course, what we'll be doing, we'll be taking them, we'll be cleaning them, we'll be sterilizing them. Then, of course, we'll be adding into the nutrient medium. And into the nutrient medium, what we'll see, we'll see the formation of the calyx. We'll see a mass of tissues. We call it as a calyx, right? Yes, Anshuman, I've answered your question, right? And that calyx will be taken back into the more nutrient medium, where, of course, we'll be adding the growth additives that will be helping in the growth of the stem and the roots, right? And, of course, we'll see these small plantlets. Yes, Shivansh, I've just explained. Yes, I'm sure you got it, right? Yes, so that's the tissue culture. So, of course, we will be doing the tissue culture in the lab conditions in a very clean environment, right? And that's really very important. Yes, Shivans, I'm sure you got the uh, tissue culture, right? It's a very easy method. Yeah. Now, differentiation, when we, when we talk about differentiation occurs where the cells which are dividing will be taking up a specific function and they will, will be dividing further, right? Of course, they'll not be dividing or they'll be dividing up to a certain part, a certain time. So when we talk about the meristematic tissue, they, they are the one that keeps on dividing. But after some point, what will happen, we know, know that we'll see the permanent tissue and then it'll stop dividing, but they will have a specific function. Yes, Kalpant, I have answered your question. Right, I hope you all, you all are clear with the tissue culture. We didn't get a time to revise, but now we did it. Very good. Awesome. Now, moving to the ninth question. Here we have. Okay. Going back again and coming back to the main question. Here we have question number nine. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sophia. Thank you so much. Thank you, Seema. Question number nine. We have over here that identify the type of vegetative propagation we can see over here. Okay. Let me just help you. We have a rose over here. We have a rose plant, right? A parent plant. Then we have a stem and of course then we have a new plant. Interesting, right? I'm sure you have the answer. Is it layering, grafting, budding and cutting? Yes? Yes, everyone. I can see the answer in the chat box. Yes, Pranav. I feel the same. Very good, Shivansh. Thank you for... You're really honest. So, 64 of you have actually voted for the correct answer. The answer is the cutting, right? So, over here in the image, when, we, when you have the image with you, you have a parent plant, right? We'll be cutting the stem and, of course, from that, we'll be getting a new plant. That's a process which we have the cutting. Very good. Okay, here's the confusion. So, in, remember, in the grafting, we'll have two different plants altogether. We'll have two different plants joining together. Yes? So, we have the stalk and the science. Remember that. It cannot be grafting over here because we're, ta we're talking about the only stem part. Very good. 
here we have the explanation and moving to the last question interesting right still not we'll be moving ahead now to the last question i hope you enjoy these quiz sessions right here we have all the best for the last question everyone vegetative propagation through roots is seen in okay vegetative propagation through roots we are talking about seen in rows potato sweet potato and onion focus on the roots part over here right root through roots vegetative propagation through roots very good very good yes okay 3 2 and 1 times up the correct answer is sweet potato right 60 uh, seven of you have voted for the correct answer 22 of you got confused with the potato potato is an example that we'll remember for the stem and not for the roots right so we have the correct answer and here we have the explanation for it now it's time for us to see the leaderboard hopefully it will come just once yeah we have the no okay, we don't have the leaderboard my god all of my excitement goes like this here we have again i'll build up we'll have the leaderboard now hopefully it will not just vanish now yes here we have the leaderboard hopefully this time it will stay and yes okay so we have a new winner right something happened in between and ab here uh, got the highest marks over here 9794 interesting then we have the b then we have nikesh then kritiman hari murli aradhna charvi suraj utkarsh and arshida very good congratulations everyone congratulations to each one of you that's really very good right see very good congratulations to each one of you who actually participated in this amazing quiz right i hope you enjoyed right if you enjoyed this of course we in the next class will be learning more about the sexual reproduction in the flowers of course in the plants right we'll be talking about the flower so a very important session that we'll be having apart from that remember that you know if you have any confusion during the quiz time you will always have a chance to go back to the session that we have right before that you can just go back to the session on asexual reproduction that is the part 2 session 2 right go back visit it again go through it again we have the summary slides over there you can pause it over there you can note down the important points right and of course that's how we'll be learning right so i will be seeing you in the next class we have these amazing information for you we know that now i am sure you know that we have got you covered right you know that for sure yes oh thank you for reminding me about the homework priya so what could be the homework of today's class so i see there's a lot of confusion in the vegetative propagation of the stem and the roots try to find out what is the difference right and of course try to learn more about these two vegetative propagation through roots and of course vegetative propagation through stems look for more uh, new examples right apart from that that this particular session that we have is really very easy so you don't have to worry about it next class of course will be meeting in the new year next year so be uh, well prepared for it right part you can post in the uh, you know in the comment section below once the video is you know it's over you'll be able to comment below the videos right and you can write your comments over there very good everyone so here uh, a gentle reminder i'm sure you have subscribed to our channel you will get this notification so that's really very important uh, on 6th of jan we'll be meeting again for an amazing session for the sexual reproduction in plants a very important topic and of course we want to try amazing class at by jews you can go in the description box below there's a link click on it and you will get a free trial classes simple right easy as that so the homework we have today is to differentiate or find the difference between how the vegetative propagation is different from the stem and the roots right and you can uh, find more examples of it that will be helping okay can i give you one extra uh, homework find more about layering and its different type if you want to uh something for
for you to look forward, right? It's a very interesting topic, so I'm sure you'll get it. Happy New Year in advance, everyone. We'll be meeting in the next year. Take care of yourself. Lots of love. And we'll be meeting next year. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Lots of love. Bye-bye.